This video is part two. Um, part one dealt with putting this Chromebook into developer mode, which took about between 10 and 15 minutes. Um, now I'm going to follow looks like a life hacker tutorial um, to install Crouton on this Chromebook, or at least I hope that's what will happen. I suspect um, I have my SS I have my SD card. Uh, 64 gig SD card, but I don't know what partitioning uh, is on it at the moment. I don't really care, it's, I'm prepared to lose it, but it's whether this will F disk the lot away or not. Right, so we're on step two install a crouton. So download, oh, let's just click here, shall we? Click here, crouton, there it is. Download. Uh, and save it in your downloads folder, which is should be where it is. And, uh, I'm sure that's where it is. Downloads, yep, there it is. Okay, good, 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 good. Press Control Alt T. Control Alt T, which brings up a terminal. Yes, it does. At the terminal run the following command shell okay okay next run the following commands to install crouton let's see if we can copy and paste no we can't oh great <sighs> It's just marvellous, isn't it? Let's just try that again. Copy. You would be surprised if you couldn't copy and paste, but then... Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, so sudo sh. Sudo sh. So it's telling it to run a shell script. We've got to run that. So tilde, which is there. So current user downloads, all case sensitive, of course, because this is a flavor of Unix. Downloads slash crouton. Spell it right with help. Slash crouton minus T XFS minus. T X F C is X F C E X F C E. I'm not really worried about encrypting. Right. Oh, and this might be a good time to grab a cup of tea. Well, I'm I'm more of a coffee drinker, and actually, because I'm doing these videos back to back, I've still got my current well, about half third of a cup of coffee to get through. Um, anyway, uh, where were we? Um, when it's done, last few username, password, few names. Okay, so basically it's just a hit return and wait. So looks like I've done that, typed that right. Let's just let it do its thing, I guess. It's probably uh, using some form of package manager. Something quite comforting to me about a stream of text on the screen, it just tells you what's going on. Even if I'd be none the wiser if it went wrong. <laughs> you know, at least you can see things happening rather than just a swirling thing that doesn't mean anything. Well, I guess this will take a while. It's probably got, a, well, it's got to download a whole OS, so you know. And although it's not a heavy OS, it's still going to be a good few meg or possibly gigabytes. And like I say, I'll, well, I hope it just deals with the SD card and, and blasts it. Um, if it doesn't, it will probably fail because I know that's not formatted in a Linux friendly partition. But we'll see how clever it is.
Well, I finished this cup. I'm gonna go make another one because it's obviously um, yeah. I know, I know from experience of uh, installing Debian from scratch using a net command that you know it takes a while because you know it's got to download a whole OS. So you know, see you in a minute. So this is part two and yes this is my second cup of coffee during this process uh, my first coffee in part one second coffee for part two while it's doing all this because I'm also working on something in the background here which is all boring data management stuff but it is something I have to do
It's going to leave the room for a minute. Uh, so I'm doing some data wrangling back here, just moving uh, Final Cut Pro 10 libraries between computers. Um, basically, I got into a bit of a pickle with uh, somehow Final Cut Pro updated itself, despite me not wanting it to update itself. And uh, it's not updating the libraries properly, so I'm. God, I'm going to have to sort And it's nothing to do with what's going on on the camera there. I'll just leave that going. Like I say, I'm going to leave it real time. You can just skip through the, the video and do a CR on it. Thanks. Still going. Barely touched my coffee as well, so that's fair enough. See, it is all uh, Debian packages as well. I love the fact that Debian is called. Debian because uh, Deb and Ian, uh, I don't know if they still run the distribution, but they used to. Okay. All right, maybe it didn't use the SD card. I'm not sure what's going on now. Um, Pseudo start XFCE4. It's a long word, wasn't it? Hang on, I've got such a terrible short term memory. 
So, yeah, so one one command start xfce4 starting x server. And I think I'll just use the default config here. And there we go. Looks a bit like GNOME actually, doesn't it? Although it is uh, obviously XFC Desktop Manager, but they, you know, it's just the GNOME icons. So there you have it. And um, command prompt here. Can we uh, also put sudo? If I remember, at get nmap. Uh, oh, I can't, I can't remember the package manager um, commands, you know, but nmap's always a good one to get in. <laughs> That's what I normally test with, but I, ha I haven't. I haven't. Um, done much Linux or Unix for a long time. Okay, so maybe it just didn't recognise the package name I used. Anyway, so but you know, it's all it's all working. Um, so where does it put the file system? I don't know. Let's... It's not displaying much in terms of showing me my folders, is it? Oh, there's no file manager associated. That's nice, isn't it? So, yeah, this is this is kind of the thing about Linux, isn't it? It's kind of very much, uh, you know, you roll your own, and you have to kind of put up with all the uh, idiosyncrasies of weirdness. Okay, there's a file manager there. Okay, cool. Well, that's basically worked, hasn't it? I mean, that is without a doubt. A full version of Linux and it seems to be running okay. You get your virtual desktops up here. You're meant to be able to switch into Chrome OS as well. Probably can I just exit there or something. Oh, it logs me out. Yeah, okay, and then we're, we're back to uh, Chrome OS. So right there. Yeah, so basically, yeah, you can you can switch to the desktop manager from Chrome OS. So could be handy.